Hello, good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So I'm doing a little progress report. Um, well, checking on the progress, if any, on the Sisgium cumuni, Jamun fruit or Java plum, depending on where in the world you are, you know, uh, what name you give the, to these uh, fruits. So 10 days ago, I bought some uh, Java plum from the Asian supermarkets and I did a video on that and the following day I planted the seeds so it's nine days ago since I planted the seeds and I'm checking to see if there's been any progress in them they're in that pot over there I've also just checked on the ones upstairs that I've got in a plastic container wrapped in moist tissue and there's been no sign of any germination on those at all uh, they're just green so i know that they've not um turned moldy the ones upstairs and i haven't filmed those but i will if there is any uh, progress so i'm going to lift this up a little bit closer and we have a single shoot so a tiny little shoot my first java plum taken nine, nine days for this seed to germinate there's quite a few seeds in here but that's the first one and hopefully it's not going to be the only one um i had a little poke around to see if there was any signs of more shoots but i couldn't find any however I looked around the side because um they're planted quite close together there's one there and that's not it's not connected to that one because I did check this is a different seed I mean literally they're sort of grabbed next to each other that one I don't know what's happened there whether it's meant to do that but it's um, got signs that it's splitting so whether that means germination or it's rotting I don't know and then here looks like there's a root I could be mistaken but there's no sign of a, of a shoot at all. Um, I've never grown them myself from seed. I've had Java plum seedlings given to me years ago. Um, my sister-in-law planted them and uh, she has so many she gave me um, a pot full. Um, so this is the first time I've actually um, tried the fruits. I did a taste test uh, 10 days ago and um, so it's the first time planting them from seed um, I've never had the seed before so at least one has germinated hope it's not the only one as I say I've got more upstairs and maybe they'll start to come soon I mean it's interesting to see both were both sets of seeds um, in different environments and the first uh, one to come through is the one planted in soil and whether that's um, a thing to note that maybe some seeds prefer darkness uh, more than moisture I mean it's pretty moist in there but um, the key might be that to keep them in uh, you know in soil to get germination down there next to it I've got the Atamoya which I also bought at the same time <coughs> excuse me um, they've only been in there four days. I did a taste test on those because the fruit wasn't ripe when I got it. So I waited a few days. <clears throat> Planted them um, on the same day that I did the taste test. And um, yeah, so it's early days for those. No idea how long they will take. And a week ago, I did a, an update on the things that were growing here in the grow tent. Um, I didn't do much talking about the jackfruit because I had um, I was going to do monthly updates on this on these two seedlings <clears throat> excuse me I was going to do a monthly update so it's been um, about three weeks yeah it's coming up to three weeks now uh, since I did an update so whilst we're here in the grow tent I might as well um, have a look see on what's happening 
um, height wise I don't think it's grown much possibly an inch so last time I measured this one was nine inches so I think it's grown slightly possibly an inch so maybe 10 inches tall so it's not even reached a foot tall yet these are only two and a half months old they're not quite three month old yet but um, they have last time I did a video uh, this one the taller of the two had produced this side branch and whether that slowed down the growth because the plants taking well it's energy is focused on this side shoot now and it's also produced another side shoot so I don't know why it suddenly started to branch out uh, when I've grown jackfruit in the past it seemed to just see grow tall and straight and I've never sort of pinched out the top or um, encouraged it to branch I just want to get them to a certain height um, and I was hoping this would just continue to grow tall and straight but I can see why it's slowed down because it's uh, putting out uh, branches, side shoots, and that's the main stem that would continue to grow upwards. And that right next to it has got another, there's another little side shoot there. So I don't know what's triggered it into doing that because the last time I, I did a video um, on this um, three weeks ago, I'd already repotted it. And I've added some Wilco, uh, I've added some of this fertiliser, Wilco's multi-purpose control fertiliser. And it's got, you know, various nutrients in there. Whether that's had something to do with it, I don't know. Uh, the second one next to it's a bit shorter, um, but it too appears to... I've got its own little side shoot, not as apparent as that one, but I can see there there's a side shoot and also right down there, the beginnings of another. So that's even shorter and it's going to be branching out. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, I mean, it shows it's they're both growing well, they're growing healthily. Um, but you know, I would have preferred them to be a bit taller, but nature does what it does, you know, just have to let it uh, get on. As long as it's continuing to grow and it doesn't start getting those crispy leaves and dying on me, um, I'll be happy with that. So there we have it. Um, update on the seeds in the Siskim Cumini pot there and jackfruit update so thanks very much for watching everyone take care bye bye